Um, I was saying, yeah, it's not that great, but uh, it was cheap, so I got it. The next one is the Phantom Toll Booth. This is an awesome, awesome movie. You know, it is a kid's movie, but I really, really enjoy this one. Uh, even for adults, it's it's quite good. I like the message in it. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Next one is Religious, which is a Bill Maher documentary about... Um, Bill Maher is an American comedian, and he has real time with Bill Maher, and this is a movie that he does on religion. He is anti-religion, and he goes around the United States talking to religious fanatics. Next one, rumor has it, is probably the worst movie I have on here. Maybe The Parent Trap, but this one is the worst one. This was an impulse buy. It was my girlfriend's birthday, and we wanted to watch a romantic comedy for her birthday. This was recently, and her birthday was July 9th, and we decided we were having a hard time, and we went with this one, watched the preview, and it was absolutely awful. We stopped it halfway, and then continued it another time. You can see it was stopped halfway there by the little circle. Um, the white half and the blue half circle. Yeah, we really didn't like that. Next one I have is Russell Peters. This one is Outsource, which I think is his best one. It's quite good. And then I have... Uh, Russell, the other Russell Peters, I think it's the Green Connection. It's quite good, but not as good as Outsourced. Outsourced is great if you're a Russell Peters fan. Another great movie, The Searchers by John Wayne. This one is rated the best one, but uh, it's not, uh, in my opinion, not my favorite. Eldorado still takes that, and I even like Chisholm better than The Searchers. Then I got Shipwreck. This is a classic, classic Disney movie, my favorite Disney movie. Um, Hulkin Olkinson is the guy who's stranded on a desert island after becoming the ship's, ship's captain's ship's boy. And um, some pirates take over the ship and they come back for their treasure and he sets all these booby traps. And it's quite good. It's very short, 93 minutes. Uh, it's from 1990. It's a great one. The Shootist, which was John Wayne's last movie before he died. In this movie, he. Um, he's, you know, renowned shooter. They do, at the beginning, a whole bunch of clips from some of his other movies. Um, and this one, he actually has cancer, which is, uh, of the stomach, which is ironic, because that's actually how he died. And, um, this is a great, great, great movie. It's his last one he ever did, so it's kind of sad. Um, and the premise in The Shootist is he actually has cancer, too, and only has months to live, and meets these guys, and kind of has the last shoot-off with the best gunman, and in the uh, West, it's kind of 19, early 1900s, like 1901, and times are starting to change with the revolution. It's good. Sons of Katie Elder, great movie. Again, another John Wayne. Four brothers who are kind of troublemakers, John Wayne being the oldest of them, come back for their mother's funeral, who's Katie Elder, and uh, they try to do good and kind of change things around a little bit. Um, and uh, by doing good, they end up getting in trouble. Um, it's a good, great John Wayne one. Next one is uh, The Tale of Despero, which is kind of a... It's really good. I thought this scene... This, this was a great movie, I thought. Um, yeah, so I would recommend that. It's Mouse, Hero Mouse, who was kind of no one. Nobody made his way into something. Then I have Something About Mary. Awesome, awesome movie. This one is um, a classic and uh, I think everybody knows about this. I don't really need to talk more about it, but if you haven't seen it, it's very funny. Uniquely funny. I would. It's not the same as all your other kind of dumb rom-coms. It's actually pretty good. Classic Disney Pixar. First Pixar um, that actually went with Disney, like the, you know, the kind of larger, I mean, Pixar did a bunch of small animation, but the main, first main motion picture it's quite good. Short again, it's only 80 minutes. This one, The Train Robbers, really good western. Um, again, fairly short, but it's classic western. Gotta love it. Then I have Trans Transformers, uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Good movie. Um, I think most people have seen that, so I don't have to talk much more about that. Another John Wayne, this is True Grit. Um, so he won an Academy Award for this film. A young girl tries to um, hires John Wayne, who is a, uh, you know, the sheriff, but a kind of a drunken sheriff, uh, to find his her father's killers, and they kind of search on a mission with this other other gentleman to find down this group of terrorists. And there's John Wayne, the undefeated. Really good, um, 
movie again. Um, it's uh, you know kind of your classic western John Wayne. This one's more uh, set during the uh, um, the the war. Um, oh man, I'm having a hard time. You know, Confederation time, the war, fighting. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm I'm just kind of babbling here, but you know, it's kind of war western. I would say. I got up again. This was done through the Blu-ray free upload, so I didn't actually pay for this. It came as a free download. Um, with the Blu-ray collection, so you can put it on your iPhone or iPod. This is one of my favorite ones, Waking Ned Divine, Irish guy who they're all trying to win the lottery, um, and uh, one of their friends does, and I'm not going to tell you too much, because if I tell you much more, um, then you won't see it, but I would highly recommend it. I think it's 90s, early 90s, it's a really good movie. A lot of drinking, a lot of fun, two good friends kind of going on a mission to help out their small little village. Um, Where the Wild Things Are Again, this is a free download that I got from the uh, Blu-ray um, so I can put it on other devices so I didn't actually buy that one. It's a classic old kind of British kids um, movie. It's The Wind in the Willows which is uh, kind of, yeah, it's kind of old classic British. It's, you know, good calming rainy day movie. It's um, fun and at the end they kind of have a lot of action and adventure so it's based on these animal characters there's a frog there's a badger there's rat and a mole ratty and moly they call them and they kind of go on adventures next one is yes man which is a funny jim carrey one um, not his best one but yeah it's it's okay it's good again for a rainy day you mean dupree same type of thing not super good but good for a rainy day 310 to Yuma, um, this is probably one of my least favorite westerns. It got a lot of great reviews, but I just found they did a remake of this one, which is actually better than the old one. Well, I don't know if it's better, but it has more action than this old one. But um, there's a lot of sitting around and talking in this one, I found, so it wasn't um, wasn't one of the best ones. It was 9, came out in 2009, but this little kind of guy after the world's gone... Gone to, gone to hell, I guess. Um, he's kind of like a little puppet person. I, it's hard to explain. I don't want to tell you too much more about that one, but it's pretty good. Um, and then my last one that I have here on the iTunes is 5050. And this one is uh, pretty good. It's got some funny parts, but it's about two friends. Kind of One of them has cancer. They're kind of going through the steps together of what it's going to be like. And, uh, you know, kind of, kind of rom-com and uh, not all that funny, more serious funny, but there's a screenshot of a bunch of the movies. And I will do TV shows, which will start now. First one I have is season one of Breaking Bad. Um, I've only watched two episodes of this, so I haven't really gotten too far into it, but it's pretty damn good from what I've seen so far. Uh, the next four... There's season, Kirby Enthusiast season 2, 3, 4, and 8. The other ones I have on DVD. Um, Kirby Enthusiasm is Larry David, who is the creator of Seinfeld, doing kind of a mockumentary about himself and his daily life. Um, and they, it, there's no lines that they just kind of make it up as they go along, and it's hilarious. It's a great show. Highly recommend it. Uh, Family Guy, I do have most of the series. This is um, season 7 and season 10. Uh, a lot of them I have on DVD, so not all of them are here. Then I have here um, Faulty Towers, Towers, season 1 and 2. Again, kind of a British comedy about a guy named Basil Faulty who runs a hotel. Um, and he's just kind of a jerk. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite funny if you like British comedies. My favorite show right now is Game of Thrones, and this is season 1. The complete season one. It is really good. Then I have another show. My friend introduced me to this. It's called Happy Endings. It's kind of dumb, funny, comedy, weird group of friends who do weird things and have unique uh, experiences together. Next one is, this is a TV pilot called Homegrown, and I actually haven't watched it yet. It was a free download through iTunes, so I have not watched it. Next ones, there's four of them here. This is Little Britain. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, there's five of them. Um, and these are really funny. It's, uh, it's two... Sorry, I cut off again. It's two guys who do... Um, 
very, very funny British comedies. They play a whole bunch of different characters. Um, they travel abroad. They go to U.S. They, yeah, it's really weird kind of humor, but it's fun. It's very British. They're kind of making fun of Britain, and then the U.S. one, they kind of make fun of U.S. Uh, this is the final season of Lost. I got the other ones on uh, DVD. This is a great show. I know most of you know about this one already. This one is, I just found this out, just kind of going through different, this is funny, it's called Moral Oral, it's about, it's a cartoon, like kind of claymation kind of cartoon about this little kid who's like very religious, um, and he's, uh, it's kind of comic how he like kind of finds out about God and whatnot, so it's kind of funny. Next one's Mr. Bean, this is a whole complete set here, and it's, it's really funny. Um, again, kind of non-spoken word comedy. Um, about um, this guy who's very weird and unique and lives kind of a solitary life. Um, not a lot of talking, but a lot of different actions that he goes through. And I have The Office. This is season one and season two. Uh, most of you probably know The Office. It's a comedy based on an office. It's pretty funny. And then I have just one Simpsons here, which is the 20th anniversary collection, but it's only got one episode. I believe it's Mr. Plow. Let's double check that. Yeah, it's Mr. Plow. So I only have the one of the 20th anniversary collection. So there are my TV shows. And um, uh, for those of you who made it along for all th three of these parts, I'll probably have to break it out in three. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. I appreciate uh, you watching. This is, I know, pretty... I know most of this stuff's pretty standard TV and uh, videos, but uh, I thought I'd do it. Just something new. Uh, tell me if you like it. Please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.